March it right to left. Five, six, seven, eight. Hup. Welcome to this holiday low impact cardio party. You're just marching. Now in today's class, you're gonna want a step bench. You can choose to have no risers, one, two, or three risers. And a magic circle is optional. Give me heels. Hoop. You know my name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Happy holidays, everyone. Now, we have eight working tracks today. Our first track is just here to warm it up. Beautiful music today. The first song is Joy to the World. Give me knees. Hoop. Now, let's go nice and slow. We're just here to dynamically get our body nice and warm. Now, you are my teammate. You are my partner in today's workout. So we're gonna have lots of fun. Whoop. Now we are going to touch our in soles right here. Now remember, this first track is just to get us nice and warm. Breathe it through. Beautiful job. Whew, just warming up and through that upper and that lower body. How about a hamstring curl? Touch your heels right here. Now today's cardio is entirely low impact. We're not gonna jar the joints, we're gonna stay low, but we're gonna use that step bench today. Touch your heels, moving it around, get nice and warm. Now we're gonna do hip abduction. Start with the right, start with the right. I can't talk, couldn't spit it out quick enough. Arms up, down. Now let's be nice and gentle with this. We're just warming up. Let's not go hot and heavy right out of the gate. Let's be kind and loving to our body. My dogs are barking. Squat here. Little squat. Little squat. Little squat. All right, happy holiday party with my animals too. You may not be able to see them, but they're right here bugging me. <laughs> All right, if you hear a little bark, that's my little dogs, they're gonna be coming in and out. All right, let's do a beautiful plie. Now let's walk it out. Let's warm up those inner thighs. Joy to the world. Now in our second track, we are gonna grab our step bench, one or two risers. We're gonna place the step bench in a vertical position, long ways. Let's add the arms up down. Remember, track one. We're here to get nice and warm. Right here. Breathe it through. Breathe into the deepest part of the lungs. Tap right to left. Arms come up and over. Are you all getting nice and warm? Whew. Joy to the world, everyone. Right here. Beautiful. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Let's take those arms to the front. Beautiful low impact cardio party. This is such a beautiful heart healthy workout. Let's do palms up. Reach your palms up to the front corner of the wall. Don't you love these beautiful dynamic warm ups? So you should be starting to break a little sweat right now. Arms up. Or you're just gonna take it in, and you're just gonna march right to left, right here. Whoo! Did you know walking is a part, uh, is an exercise? Movements for everyday living, functional movements. Now, you know my classes really help strengthen your body, so you can work all day, and you can just move nice and free. Right here, functional movement, pushing, pulling, rotation, walking. You need this your entire life. Walk it up. Hoop. Walk back. You have one more time, one more time. You're gonna grab your step bench, one or two risers, right now. 
All right, are you guys ready? Oh, Christmas tree. You're gonna take your bench in a vertical position. You're gonna get behind it. You're gonna march right to left. Get behind your bench, right to left, right here. I have two risers. Make sure your bricks are on. All right, you guys. We're gonna do a basic right, then a straddle. One basic right, uh, keep the right. Basic right, let's just do basic right. Low impact cardio party, basic right. I'm gonna add on one basic. Basic, now straddle. And one knee, basic. Okay, just basic left. We'll get it. Let's stay in this basic left right here. Left foot on. So we're gonna do a basic. We're gonna straddle the bench. We're gonna come off. And we're gonna do one knee. Let's just try it. Basic left, then straddle. Basic left. Come on, straddle, come off. One knee, again, basic. You're on the right lead. Straddle, come off. One knee, keep that pattern. Basic, come on, straddle. On, off, one knee. Don't worry, we're gonna keep this. So it's basic, straddle, and knee. Left lead now, basic. You're just switching leads. Okay, you got that? Now tap, heels, right heel, left heel, right here. Let's just go ahead, lift those heels up, right here. Now we are going to do a little stomp, side to side. Keep your heels, watch me, stomp, stomp, step, stomp, step, stomp, step, stomp, step, stomp, march it, right to left. Let's start with the stomp. Step, stomp. Right here. Now, working that lateral movement. So, I'm not gonna do a step combination. We're just doing moves. The step bench is nice and vertical. Why do you need lateral movements in everyday living? You just don't go front to back with your body. You go side to side, right? Hup. Okay. March right to left, right left, right here. So I'm gonna encourage you, one, two, three risers. We're gonna do basic right, straddle, come off. One knee, are you ready? Basic right, basic right, up, straddle, one knee, left lead. Remember, it's basic, straddle, come back, now let's add the stomp. Stomp. Beautiful stomp. Hook. After this, we're gonna go to that beautiful magic circle. Getting that lateral movement in. Basic right, straddle knee. That's it. So, hook. One knee. This looks familiar, right? Basic, up and straddle. Take it off one knee and you're gonna stomp, no jumping. Step, stomp, step, stomp, step, stomp. Four more, beautiful low impact, holiday party. Let's run through it two more times. Basic, you know you're gonna up and straddle. And one knee, one more time on the left lead. Basic, up, down, then come up, one knee. Let's stomp. Beautiful, beautiful movement for our body. I'm doing front to back and beautiful lateral patterns in track three. One more time only. Basic. Straddle, come off, one knee. Basic left, Hup. up, one knee. Last time you're gonna stomp. Last time you're gonna stomp in track three of eight. Step, stomp. 
step stomp for four three you're gonna do heels on the bench heels on the bench arms pull down side now right here you're working the back sides of your legs especially if you have two risers on really asking you to lift those heels up high lift the heels lift the heels you got four more we're going to put the step bench away in four beautiful three now you're going to put that step bench away you're going to grab the bricks you're going to grab your magic circle we move quick now we're going to run through this pattern one more time with our step bench so have that step bench by your side march it right to left jingle bells right here now if you don't have a magic circle look in the description box below buy one they're like ten dollars they're a beautiful addition to any workout you're gonna march you're gonna watch me grapevine so step behind step together or two step touches and you're gonna circle come with me when you're ready low impact remember I told you movements for everyday living walking was a pushing pulling rotation yeah well we're gonna get some rotation in in track what is it three again lateral movement right here with some really big arm movement keep it going whoo beautiful job now you're gonna turn rotation watch me down just tap it just march okay you guys just march as long as we're moving right <laughs> okay now you're gonna watch me Hup. so we're gonna go forward side here's your rotation right here forward side forward side so really want you to press straight forward I want that left hip to come with you and I want the shoulders to follow as well beautiful rotation here remember we need those rotational patterns for movements of everyday living a couple more forward side forward side now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the back knee lift lift front tap lift tap so you're gonna take it over the crown of your head right now soft bend in your elbows crunching in over your head soft bend in those elbows right here working those back extensors now you're gonna rotate down and up down up down up right here it's like a discus throw beautiful movement patterns with our body today I know you love it Whew, keep going keep going right here so down up back hip follows as you rotate simple rotational movements today you guys march left to right okay so not tons of choreography today because I really want to get the movements in I want repetition with the movements we're gonna grapevine we're gonna circle are you ready left to right or two-step touches now here's your lateral movement right here beautiful you can do two-step touches you can grapevine a lot of you know what a grapevine is let's keep it going go you are so strong you are so fit and we are getting some beautiful movement patterns in with this holiday party okay march it left to right okay so you're gonna march you're gonna come this left side now you're gonna watch me remember this push forward side come with me when you're ready just want to preview take that magic circle shoulder at chest height really breathe it through beautiful you are my teammate you are my partner some really beautiful body movement patterns today so I want that back right hip to really come with you guys okay just prepping you 
we're going to go back into that step. So if you want to add a riser, you can. One more set. Forward. Side. Straight forward. Feel the rotation in that back hip. That's what I'm wanting. Wanting you to reach your arms out nice and long. Okay. Let's go bottom corner. Down. Up. Down. Up. So take it to the bottom right corner. I do want that right hip to follow to the left side of the room. Let's go. Now, you will grab your step bench. You will decide if you want one, two, or three risers. We're gonna go into some intervals, and we're gonna do that step pattern all again. You're gonna put that magic circle up right now. You ready? One or two risers. Let's get that step bench. How about in today's class, let's go ahead and make it long this way. We're not gonna do that same step pattern I decided. Let's do something new. Deck the halls. So now we have our step bench long ways. We're gonna march right here. Deck the halls and track four. Basic right and then a knee. Basic right, one knee. Basic right, one knee. I wanna do some front patterns right now with our body. Front back patterns. Now what I love, keep this up. What I love about the step bench, it mimics going up steps, going up curves. So do you not go up curbs all the time? You may have steps in your house. You need to keep your lower body nice and strong. So if you don't have a step bench and you work out at home, I'm going to encourage you to get one. It really serves a very functional purpose. And I'm telling you why. Now travel corner knees. We're not doing a step class. I want you to start to get in those diagonals. Now look, if I have no step bench right here, you can do everything on the floor. We're just getting our body used to these side to side movements at a beautiful diagonal. So your foot lands on that diagonal. You may not be used to this. You may be, yeah, just really challenging your body. Let's do basic and knee. One basic, one knee. So one basic, whole foot on the bench, whole foot off. You are so absolutely strong. You are so fit, beautiful, and power. You love your body. You nurture your body. You show up for your body. You don't get a second chance in life. This is your only body you get. Let's just corner, corner the knee. Yeah? You like how that feels? We're moving in the front to back plane, front and back. Now we're just doing a little rotation as we start to diagonal it. Body needs this. Now we're gonna run through it one more time. And then we do some beautiful intervals. So one more time, basic and a knee right here. Looking good, you guys. This is gonna be it for step. So you're not gonna have your step bench after this. We're gonna do magic circle one more time. When the next track comes on, we're gonna do some beautiful magic circle movement. So it's a basic and a knee one more time. We're gonna do that diagonal, but we're gonna do it with a hamstring curl, heel to your butt. Change it, heel to your butt. Yeah, use those arms, beautiful. So I didn't really do step combinations, just using the step bench. <sighs> Keep going guys, that music's almost over. Decking the halls, holiday spirit. Let's just do heels on the bench, arms pull. Right here, you know why I'm asking the heel? To come on the bench. You don't want to drag your foot when you're going up the step, right? 
So when you go up, you're lifting through your hips. That's why we're doing those heel digs on the bench. You're practicing lifting your legs, strengthening the back side of your body. Now, let's just lift the knees. Keep the arms down, side, down, side, down, side. Beautiful knees. Lean back if you can. Right here. One more set. Beautiful functional movement interval. Right here. Pulling down with those arms. Grab a rope and pull. Working your core. March right to left. Catch your breath. You know walking is a part of everyday living. Let's get it going on. This is your low impact functional movement holiday party. Yeah? Okay. Step bench goes away. Head above the heart. Magic circle time. One more time. Now, you know I'm going to add those rotational movements in. Right here. Right to left march. All right, this is it for your magic circle. We're coming down the pipeline. Oh, I know you love this. Now we're going to try again. I love the grapevine. Lateral movement. Let's take it. Grapevine or two-step touches. Your call. Now you know this, so let's get in it. Let's get in it, you guys. Hoop. Beautiful job. Oh, we're going to keep going because we can. Beautiful lateral movement. I'm off the beat here. There we go. All right, march it right to the left. Wow, and don't worry. Yes, I've been teaching group fitness for almost 25 years now. Yes, I know the beat, but I couldn't hear it on that old, what is it? Old lang side. Forward and side, here we go. Forward, side, right here. Now I want that back hip to come with you. You know what I'm asking of your body. You know why. Let's get into it this second time. You will not use your magic circle again. Push. Now, pushing and pulling is a part of functional movement. Functional movements are movements that mimic movements for everyday living. Right here. I want you to push it out. You're going chest height. Four more. We're going to do that back knee. We're going to do the back knee. Ready, go. Knee, let's do back knee and front knee. I don't think I added this last time. You're going to pull it down. Pull, pull. Working balance, working core. Now your body may not be used to this movement pattern. Let's get there. Pull, added this movement. Pull it down. Soft bend in your elbows. Pull. You got four more. We're going to take the magic circle to the bottom left corner and the top. Are you ready? Let's just go bottom and top. Bottom, top. I got to get to the other side. Whoop. Now, I want you to rotate. I want that left hip and I want that right elbow to drive to the right side of the room. Feel that beautiful rotational pattern. You're going to come center. You're going to circle right to left. Circle right here. You feel that soft bend in your elbow. You have a halo over your head. Draw the halo. Draw the halo. You're going to march left to right. Right now. Now, in a minute, you know you're going to grapevine left to right. Catch your breath. Low impact, high intensity, holiday cardio party. Ready, go. Now circle. Take it over your forehead. Beautiful, heart healthy, full body movement workout. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hup. Big on movements, guys. Beautiful. You're moving your body front, back, side to side, using that rotation. You're going to march it left to right or push 
come with me. You can march while you're watching me or come with me. Breathe it through. Yeah, yeah. Nine minutes left in this beautiful workout. Hoop. So right now you're pushing, working the chest muscles. Come on. Isn't it like really important to know why you're doing what you're doing? Yes. Okay, let's just take it down and up. Down, up. So bottom right corner, I really want you to throw that discus. Feel that beautiful rotation. Yeah? Hup. Couple more, couple more, couple more. After this, you guys, we're going into core. If you have a magic circle, we'll be using that magic circle for core. If not, you can just follow my hand movements. Four, three, circle, left to right. Whew. Right here. So I want you to remember, give yourself grace, nurture, love, and support your body. Body movement is lotion for the joint. All right. Angels, we have heard on high. Angels, we have heard on high for our core. Okay. Now we're going to figure eight. All right. Figure eight. Now you're going to rotate. Let that natural rotation pattern come in. Right here. It's a figure eight. Figure eight. Standing core. Now, if you don't have a magic circle, you don't have to have one. Just hands shoulder width apart. We're going to lift the right knee. Here we go. One, two. I want you to take the magic circle to the top of the knee. Right here. Beautiful balance. Beautiful core. You're going to take the knee center in front. Lean back. Really challenging your core. Lean back. Take the knee belly button height. This is it, guys. We get a beautiful cool down. Woo! Leave that right leg up and circle. I want you to circle. We're working core. We're working balance. I'm working coordination. Do you not need coordination for life? Woo! Now, beautiful coordination. Beautiful core work. Circle. Really challenging your body to stay to balance. Major core activation. Shake it out. Now let's go left knee. Oh, we got to get into it really quick. We don't have much time to waste. 35 minutes start to finish. That's not much, right? To the front, to the front, 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 front. I want you to lean back. Lean back, get the knee to belly button height. Beautiful standing core. Hold it up, circle, circle. Wow, keep the knee up. Soft bend in those elbows. Let's just draw that beautiful halo. Let's balance, let's challenge all these small stabilizing muscles. Now circle right here. Big circles in front of you. Oh, you're still lifting that left leg. Woo, four, three, two, take it over, circle. Now I do want you to hula hoop. Now, it's gonna be a lot of coordination for you here. All right, so you're hula hooping and you're drawing a circle over your head. Now I want you to reverse. Major coordination here. Woo! So now you're going left to right with your hula hoop. Can you do that? Soft bend in your elbows, shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. Reverse, yep. So right to left. Beautiful, you have a soft bend in your knee. You got a beautiful hula hoop. You're doing that beautiful halo circle over your head. Oh, you're gonna be sore tomorrow. Reverse, left to right, let's go. You got this? Right here? Yes, are you working your coordination? Yes, yes, yes. We need this, guys. We need this. Let's go right knee, left knee. So I want you to lean back, lean back, activate the core. 
You're gonna challenge your balance. Don't take the magic circle past your ears. Lean back. That's where that core activation comes in. We are almost done. Are you all ready to cool down? That was a beautiful standing core track. I guarantee you're gonna be sore. Many of you do never move your body like this. All right, put that magic circle up. Whew. The first Noel. Let's just get a beautiful, beautiful stretch. Deep breath in. I'm gonna challenge your balance. Even as we're stretching, 35 minutes start to finish holiday low impact cardio party functional movement style. Deep breath in. What's functional movement? Once again, we are creating movements that mimic movements of everyday living. So you're stronger with your body in what you're doing with your movements for everyday living. Grab that right foot, challenging your balance, I told you. We're gonna keep challenging our balance. Now look at me, mobility and flexibility is just as important as cardiovascular health and bone health. Never skimp on the mobility and flexibility portion of class. Now I did tell you, I was gonna challenge you. So if you can, let's take it deeper in this stretch. You can have your arm forward. You can take your fingertip to the ground. Dancer's pose. We need to challenge ourselves. Challenge is change for the body. Motion is lotion. And come up, deep breath in. Breathe into the deepest, deepest part of the lungs. Exhale, left hand grabs that left foot. Knee to knee alignment. Now we are working tons of stabilizing muscles right now in the ankle, the knee, and the hip. At the same time, we are absolutely, you have a core activation. You're working balance, lengthening right here, this hip flexor. Now we're gonna take the right hand forward or you're just gonna go where you can. Beautiful dancer's pose. I love to always challenge with balance. We lose balance as we get older. So absolutely, we're gonna work on balance in all of my classes. You're gonna take it up, deep breath in. Breathe into the deepest part of the lungs, interlace your fingers, take it over to the left side of your body. Lateral flexion right here. Silent night. Such a beautiful holiday cardio party, low impact style. Let's take it center and over to the right. Ah. Ah, I would do this all through the holiday season. Ah, such a beautiful range of motion that we did today. Front back patterns, lateral, rotational, twisting. Yeah, we did it all. We're keeping our bodies limber for life. Let's just look over that left shoulder. This is a goddess stretch. Looking over the left shoulder right now, you are also working on hip mobility. When you're taking your hips down, opening up and through those hips. Now let's look over the right shoulder. I always find it's very important to know why you're doing what you're doing. Have you ever had an instructor and you're like, why are they teaching like that? What are they doing? What is the purpose? I love to tell you what the purpose is. Take your left fingertips to the ceiling. Feel that beautiful rotational movement through the spine. This is for spine health. Also, it helps with digestive health. Whenever you're doing twist and rotational patterns, it helps with the digestion. And let's take our right fingertips up to the ceiling. I wanna wish each and every one of you a beautiful, beautiful, holiday season no matter what year or where you're at let's just take it down into this deep squat believe it or not this is one of the best squats you can do to really help with hip mobility you're going to just press those knees to the outside of the room no tension in the head neck or shoulders if you're on the computer all day i would definitely be doing this stretch <laughs> it helps release the pelvic region the low back 
You feel this in your inner thighs. You may feel this in your outer thighs, right? Just breathing it through. I really, really wish you a very, very blessed holiday season. Toe heel in, deep breath in. And exhale. Beautiful, low impact cardio holiday party, 35 minutes start to finish. If you love my workouts, the one thing you can do for me is share, follow, press a button, and let all your friends know about me. <coughs> let them know that my workouts are very functional, and they really help with your body for movements for every day living. I tell you why you're doing what you're doing. You know why exactly how this is going to help, what this is going to do, how it translates into movements of everyday living that you do. All right, you guys, my name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. If you're a woman in her 40s or above, right now go in the description box below and join the Fit Over 40 Women's Body, Mind, Spirit community. And that's where I'm most active. Until next time, guys, bye.